In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily survive the day seven horde in Alpha 21, even with no ammo, because Alpha 21 brings so much change to the game. And while we're all getting accustomed to it, it's easy for time to slip by and the day seven horde be upon us before we've had time to stock up on weapons and ammo and really prepare. So here's a horde base idea you can use to easily survive this day seven horde using melee only. Here's how it works. First step is to find any two story POI so a house with two levels or a shop that has a flat roof that you can hang out on. For this example, we'll be using the dirty laundry POI that you can see on screen right now, but it could be any similar POI with a roof that has got one or two access points. And then step two is to destroy all methods of zombies getting up to the second level via those access points. And in this example, it should just be this one ladder here on the side of the building that allows us to get up onto the roof. There is a second ladder to get onto the higher roof there, but we're gonna be setting up our base just here on the middle level. So step two of this process is to just knock out, say two to three levels of the ladder so that the zombies are not gonna see this as a path to get up to us. Now, of course, we still do need a way to get up here ourselves. So I'm just gonna grab some uh, wooden frame shapes and add my own ladder, which we can jump up to. One, two, three. So as long as you leave a, a gap there of a couple of blocks, the zombies aren't gonna naturally think to jump up here like we can. Now, depending on if you have parkour or not, then you could take out an extra ladder, but we don't have that on this character yet. So we're gonna have these three ladders here. I probably don't need to upgrade those to wood right now for this demonstration, but you could obviously. And this is it. As long as there's no other way for zombies to actually get up here to us, then we have a safe and secure base. Now we could just leave it at that. If we don't fancy fighting any zombies, there's no way the day seven horde's gonna take down this building. So we could just hang out on the roof up here, but we wanna get some kills. So here's what we're gonna do. Step three is to build ourselves a fighting position. So we're gonna have a little platform just jut out from the wall here. So I'm gonna start this out with cobblestone. It doesn't need to be anything other than cobblestone. So we'll have a couple of blocks there. I'll show you why I'll leave a gap here in a second. And try not to fall off, but maybe we need to just so that we can get down here. So we're gonna have this simple structure. And then for this middle one, I'm gonna to change to a bar block. I'm gonna put it in the advanced rotation. And we're gonna set it this way. And this is just so that if you do have like a gun with a few bullets and the zombies uh, just hanging out underneath if for some reason they don't path up around the way we want them to go then you can just shoot down this way it'll only happen once or twice in my experience so far but it's good to have the option next we need to add some sort of barrier between us and the zombies that are going to be coming from this direction so let's put these bars around this way so we can go one two three and then you could add a bar here and a bar here, but I like to leave it a little bit more open. So I'm gonna now quickly swap that to this corner pillar. And we'll set that on the corner there, that on the corner there. And then we might need to just get above this a little bit. So let's give ourselves something to stand on temporarily. Let's get up here so we can now place another set of cobblestone bars. So no zombies are gonna be getting over this. We don't really need any sides to it, but I probably would just so that we don't fall off accidentally. So let's add a couple of bars here and here. And this is pretty much it. For a little bit of extra security, we can add one more block in here. So let's find the pole block and we'll use this corner rotation one again as well. We'll go to advanced and we'll have it set just there. And so what this is gonna do is prevent zombies from squeezing through the gap. It shouldn't really happen anyway, but you never know, just to be safe, you might wanna just add that there. And that gives them a smaller gap to squeeze through, so it makes it virtually impossible unless they glitch through, but there's still plenty of room here to just stand in melee. So this is the fighting position. Step four is to now build another structure that's gonna allow the zombies to actually get up to this level, get up to this height. So we're gonna come over here and you can probably make this as long as you want really, within reason. Yeah, it doesn't need to be more than say six or seven blocks away from 
your fighting position. So let's just switch over to a regular block again. And I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. We can start it, say here, and we wanna line it up with the middle. So let's go like, like this. And let's figure out how high this needs to be. So we'll just jump and add these. Probably one more, I think. Now you could just go ahead and put a ladder on here because I don't know if we're gonna get dogs turn up on day seven as a matter of course. If dogs turn up, they might start chewing on stuff and make something fall over. So instead of a ladder, the alternative would be just to have some steps. So you can just build it out like, uh, oh God, I'm gonna to have to get rid of this road line. And it doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> I think I'll fill this in just in case. Um, yeah, but this is this is it. And then uh, we're gonna stick some steps just to make it slightly easier. I don't know. The zombies can jump up here, but I, I like to have steps. So they're gonna come up this way. They're gonna get to here. So we're gonna need them to actually have a path. And for this, we're gonna use the pillar 0 0.025 meters middle. Grab the advanced rotation again, and we want it to be in this rotation. So the zombies now have a path to get to us. They're gonna come up here, run, and they're gonna get to here. If, if the zombies bunch up, then they're gonna push each other, and they'll all basically just push each other off of this really thin tightrope. If you wanna thin them out even more than that before they even get to us, then you can add a bar at the start like this and then by making them do this jump right at the start they're going to kind of stumble and potentially you know half of them are going to fall off on the first attempt and so that thins them out even more so then by the time they get to here you should kind of have enough stamina to just keep going all night at the rate that they're going to reach you so the reason i know this works is because this is exactly how i set up my base for day seven on my alpha 21 playthrough series and you can see how that all turned out in this very next video